So now we're going to take some extra geometry and use it to enhance the influence of certain joints when capturing the overall geometry. So we're going to start by putting a split node down and extracting out the body and the tongue and separating it from the other parts of the body, which we're going to use later, capture it a different way in a later step. So we're going to add to this split group the body, and we're going to also use this arrow to go down to the tongue. You can't see it on the, the screen there, but it's, you're going to pick the body and the tongue. Now we're going to add a visibility node down. Now the visibility node will allow us to sort of hide the tongue for now. And the idea here is, what's nice about the visibility node is it hides geometry but does not change their topology. And therefore, it makes the geometry a little more consistent uh, later on in the... And we can bring the tongue back later without it uh, adding or subtracting from the, the topology. So now we're going to separate uh, just some of the nodes here in the network editor. And we're going to look at this piece of geometry here. And we're going to select, do edge selection. So we've got the edge selection option here. And we're in the select tool. So we're going to click, press A. When you press A, you can go around and click to select that whole section there. Now once we have this, we want to use a tool called the curve from edges. So we're going to take those edges and extract them out into a curve. Now that goes right there right now. We're going to bypass that in the network. Uh, and that will give us one curve. And then we're going to do the same. Well, first let's name this one. We're going to call this the lower lip. So that's a lower lip curve. And now we go back to the visibility where we extracted that. We're going to extract another curve. This time we're going to get the select tool. Select one there, press the A key, and select one around there. So now we've got that hole between that edge and that edge. We're going to go tab, curve from edges, and extract a second one. Now again, we want to bypass that uh, there. And what we want to do here is have all of both of these separate so they're coming out separately from the visibility node. And we'll call this one the upper lip. And this will help us uh, with our capture. So we've got these two curves, and we've got the original geometry there. So if we take these, what we want to do is let's just take everything here and move that up, give us a little more space. Move these ones up a little bit to get us more space here. We're going to go tab, and we're going to go merge packed. So what this will do is it will pack each piece of geometry as it comes in and then merge it. And those two are called lower and upper lip, so it actually picked that up. We're then going to wire that into the second node of the joint capture by harmonic. And then we're going to put an attach capture geo node in. So we're going to add the bones to there, the pack nodes there, and wire that into the center there. Now in doing so, what we want to do is we want to specifically assign the incoming geometry to specific joints. So we can go here and say, OK, lower mouth. Uh, so we specifically want to take the lower mouth, and then we also want to attach to the neck two. And we're going to do the lower lip and the upper lip. Now, we need to turn on Keep uh, World Transform. And now when we set up the display here, uh, you'll get a different result because we have done that capturing. And if we were to bypass that, you'd see it captures it one way, but once you've got the influence of those curves, it captures it a different way. And this is one way you can enhance the way that you capture geometry. And then, of course, as that updates, you can select the different joints 
and see how they influence. So in this case specifically with the jaw, you see that we get a pretty nice, you know, attachment of that lower area there and neck two gives us that part up there. So we were able to extend the joint out uh, because of the control curve that we extracted out of the geometry.